Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Mythlok with your host Nitin Nair. Last episode we looked into our brand new mythology or Hawaiian mythology while today we are going to be looking into the Hethian mythology from the same region of Polynesia and Oceania in general. Now which other character than to really kick things off than Taroa, the creator god of the Tahitians. In many myths that exist in Polynesia, Taroa is the creator god of the Tahitian people and a co-component of Tahitian mythology. In some parts of Polynesia, he is also known by different names and is present in various forms in the mythologies of these cultures. The people of Tahiti believe that Taora is the creator of all things. Before the creation of the world, he lived in a shell called Rumia but fell into a void and never came back. He then created a new shell and formed the earth from it and the sky as well. Taroa is believed to have created various animals, plants and people all around the world. According to some stories, he made the earth from his own body and he also created mountains and living things from his blood. Taroa is regarded as a creator and supreme being of Tahiti. He was known for being the author of death and life and was also associated with the sea. Out of his own body, he built the first Feratua or God's house. This structure became the model for all temples in the country. Actual physical traits of Taroa is not known as most of the myths surrounding the Tahitian pantheon have been passed down orally and there are no detailed written records from the ancient times. He has however been depicted as having humanoid features which were said to be the basis for the creation of humans on earth. Taroa had no family and did not have a father, mother or siblings. He created everything that we see around us and was instrumental in giving life to humans. Some versions of the mythology in some islands Taroa is said to have created Wari who then gave birth to numerous children who became the first humans. Although Taroa was not known by any other names in Tahitian mythology, the character tends to be very similar to the creator god in other Polynesian mythologies from the cultures of Samoan, Maori and Hawaiian Islands. Taroa made the earth from his own body, forming soil from his flesh, mountains from his bones and the living things from his blood. Everything in the world came from Taroa. He is credited with the creation of the universe and has supreme powers which he does not use to interfere in the daily lives of the Tahitians. The Tahitians believe that Taroa sent both blessings and curses and they tried to appease him with human sacrifice. Ancient and traditional belief systems in the Tahitian island has been on a steady decline since the European settlers started appearing on the island. Missionaries from Britain managed to convert the entire island into Protestantism. Of late, there has been a slight revival of sorts in the traditional cultures and rituals of the region after being inspired by similar process in other Polynesian islands and the success of the Disney movie Moana. As you can see, these islands are a treasure trove of mythologies, traditions and rituals which have common roots with other islands in Polynesia and Oceania in general but have their own traditional and unique characteristics that really set them apart from any other mythologies around the world. But the concept of a creator god who creates everything from himself is something that we have seen earlier as well with our other mythologies that we have explored in this podcast. We will be looking into a lot more such similar mythologies, introducing new regional mythologies as well into the mix as we go along our journey of compiling the most comprehensive list of mythical characters in the world in a podcast or a website. Thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of Mythlok. This is your host, Nitin Nair, signing out by reminding you once again that Mythlok is the home of mythology.